Now let's see, social media templates created with Affinity Photo. And what you can see there is all the templates I've created so far. If you look below the list of uh, this video on YouTube, and hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel, you'll see the link to the website where I keep the archive of all these images. Now what you do with these images is load them into, let's say you want a YouTube one. Let's open YouTube and have a look at the YouTube. This is the master template. Now this one covers the TV, desktop and devices and you can see the different sizes. Now there's different images in there. You can see I've got the stars. Block out the stars. Now that darker band in the middle is where you, that's what you'll see on your desktop and your devices. So even if you have text down the bottom there, for instance, you won't see that on your devices. Now, because I've got two images in there, I can readily change that. There's no image, that's the template. There's a gray rectangle, and you can see that. The background is the template itself. So when you, when you want to produce this, and use it, you can untick that and your template's gone because you know everything is in the right place. Put your text and logo in there. Now you can see that you can see through that layer because I've got the opacity set very low. Obviously you'll bring the opacity up to suit um, what you need. Now let me go back there a little bit change the image and there's that image there now that's what you're doing with these i don't want to tarry too long on this because you should know what to do with those but to save you a lot of time i've already created a lot of the templates and put them in an archive that's behind the link now how have i done these it's easy start a new document a new document there go to photos and I want to create presets because I want to come back to these. Now this will be, <coughs> excuse me, for a LinkedIn, LinkedIn profile picture, 400 by 400. They're in points, I want pixels. Ah, and it doesn't always do it. It sets them in points. Now I'm just going to have to cancel that and start again. New document, photo presets, points, pixels. Now why is this misbehaving? I don't know. L-I-N-K-D, L-I-N-K-E-D. LinkedIn. Profile. Now it's in pixels, pixels, pixels. LinkedIn profile, that's a preset. Now the right size in pixels is 400 by 400. I'd like to have a transparent background and set the DPI to 300. So 400, 400, 300, LinkedIn profile, pixels. Now I've created the preset. Now there's the preset. The first thing I want to do is go back, rename it from untitled to L-I-N-K-E-D-I-N, -I LinkedIn profile. We know it's a profile picture, so you don't have to put the word picture. Call it up again, change the background colour to grey, flood fill, and there we go. Now, because this is the template, and I want to be able to tell the difference between this one and 24 others, put in a text field, just leave it at Arial 12 point, and 
can spell it correctly. Now the reason this looks like a large text on a, on a small background is because it's only a small image. It's 400 by 400. 400 by 400. Just centre that bit of text. Go back up there. Move the whole thing down where I can see it. Select that. Move that out to one side, move that out to one side. There we go, now we've got profile up the top. Now put in a couple of guides. Add horizontal, add vertical. Go back, grab the square box. Green and red's highlighted and there we go, dead centre. Now I can go back there, I can save that, open it up again. Now I don't want to export the whole thing because, although I'm tapped on export, I just want to share it to the um, Apple Photos app. Now if I go back, I've got LinkedIn profile there. There's profile, background image profile, there's timeline images, and there's business cover images and group icon, icon images. I'll do all those later on because all I want to do at this stage is show you um, your templates. And there we go, and that's how they're used. That's the one that's highlighted fill opacity just drag that up to 100% and you can see that that's the that's that's your full if you see this on TV that's what your Facebook and that's what your YouTube page will look like And that's behind it. So you know, if you put text in the middle just there, it will appear in the middle just there. Okay, that's it. Enjoy.